Now, before we go ahead, definitely we need to focus on concept of mock server. So as I told you that mock server is not a real server, it's a fake server, it's a simulated server, which provides feeling to your application as if it is connecting to real server in order to manage its dependent call. What you need to do, you need to set up your server in a particular way so that response that is expected or desired by system under test gets it. And you need to ensure that your mock server is as near to real server. Okay, but not lots of coding is what you have to do for making your services available. Fine, that's what is mock server. Now, basic question that you have to ask me is, why do we actually need mock server? Now, if you see, you have front-end application and you have real server. Your front-end application, which is client-facing application, need to utilize services which are hosted on real server. But unfortunately, or because of multiple reasons, you either the service is not available here, or you don't intend to use those service because you will be charged. And apart from that, you know, speed will be slow, right? So what to do? What you will do? You will create a fake server. And this fake server will work on behalf of real server, returning the expected response whenever call is made to that particular endpoint. So that's what is objective or need of mock server. But just in order to keep certain points in mind, we can say that we need mock server to test our API while developing and before making the API live on the server of your organization. Second, you need to ensure that you are getting faster feedback and bugs. Third, you need to check the dependencies in your API before it is available to everyone. Then for QA engineer, it is required so that they can use this for testing, isolating external dependency and conduct integration testing. See, when I talk about Mockito, it is mainly unit testing and to certain extent integration testing only to generate the package, right? But when we talk about mock server, it facilitates an end-to-end -end service where you can have multiple different microservices. Okay, now assume that this real server hosts a microservice and you are creating multiple other microservices are there here. Now you want to test a microservice and this microservice is dependent on other microservice for some activity and you don't have access to that particular microservice. What you will do? You will create a virtualized service. Now, when you create a virtualized service, someone should be there to intercept the protocol using which your front-end application or client-facing application is making call. That's what is overall objective. So uh, that's what I wanted to tell that, you know, by front-end developers to use it before actual endpoints are available. And it can also be used by engineers to develop a prototype of their idea to present it to investors for funding, right? Instead of writing all the microservices, you can create quickly mock, you can create front-end application and you can demonstrate entire end-to-end -end architecture which actual uh, prototype behavior and expected outcome that you want to project to your stakeholders. That's where we need, you know, uh, the mock server.